Yeah, so here we are at, at Eagle Pass, uh, and we're going to be uh, meeting with uh, uh, the sort of major, the major officials uh, uh, and uh, law enforcement are responsible for the water, and um, and just we'll hear it directly from them and see it, see exactly what's going on uh, for yourself. So, uh, with that, let's. Yeah. Yes, I'm Tony Gonzalez. I'm the uh, local congressman here in the district. My district is 823 miles of the southern border, places like Eagle Pass, El Paso, Uvalde, Del Rio. Uh, we've been at the epicenter of this border crisis. What I really like to share is is uh, a lot of my sheriffs and, uh, and local elected officials are being forgotten. Their stories aren't getting out. Uh, some stories are, but a lot of stories aren't. The first person we would, I'd like to hear from is uh, Randy Brown, who is the sheriff of Medina County. It's about an hour away from, about 100 miles away from here. And uh, Randy's behind us now. You want to come over here, Randy? And yeah. uh, just uh, the, the question I have is, is uh, what, what's happening in your county? This is 100 yeah, miles and, away. And just imagine, like, you're just, you're just talking to America here, and right. people just want to understand right. exactly what's going on, but assume that people do not know what's going on. Well, you got to go back some time, and whenever the open border policies from the White House kind of got thrown out there, we've been overrun. How so, long was that? How long ago was that? Cool. What year was that? Two years ago. Two years. Two, we're on ago. our third year. We've been battling it for two years, and uh, okay. So, so, so you're saying there's an open, been an open border policy essentially since for the past two years? It was an invitation. An, inv an invitation. That's how I read it. That's how okay. it was told from the from the White House. So, okay. They don't have a clue what's going on here, I don't think, because okay. if they did, maybe they would care. Maybe they would. I don't know. How does how does the train impact you? Because the trains have been a big story lately. There's a train just over here. This is kind of where it starts, Elon, okay. where you see, you know, all these thousands of people on a train. This is where they're coming through, but it doesn't end here. It just starts here. Yeah. Medina County is where they're going to make it to the big cities like San Antonio. Two, two major rail lines come okay. through, through my county and, and on those the illegals ride. They actually control the trains because they know how to crank down the brake on the car. So okay. that when it passes a heat sensor, the conductor has to stop the train. The illegals get off. The people come to get them and all the stolen vehicles are stealing from all over the country. Nearly every one of them is in a stolen vehicle. Okay. So, so then we get involved and then they're trespassing on private property. Okay. Uh, and when you do get behind the road, they run through fences, they run over equipment. Irrigation stuff is important to the farmers. They run over their equipment, they tear it up. We tear up vehicles trying to hold the line. We're trying to hold the line 100 miles away because the line is not getting held here. Because it's not that complicated to close the border. It really is. And that's the aggravating part. I think any sheriff okay. will tell you the same thing. All right. Um, well, and just, just uh, again, just assume that the, you know, this is a, uh, this is really just for the, the general public, and so we want to just frame the situation because uh, not everyone knows like the magnitude and you know like is this uh, normal or is is it like so so just if you could just frame the situation for the general public that would be helpful. What 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 terrifies me the most is we're seeing historic numbers, historic eleven thousand people coming over daily for the past week uh, here in Eagle Pass alone. 2,500 people, over 5,000 people in, in detention. But what worries me the most is this, in, in many cases, feels normal. The part that doesn't make it out on some of the news stuff is there is a golf course. We're literally standing in, in front of a golf course and you have people playing golf as if it is normal. To the right, you have people that are coming over illegally. I mean, it is it is upside down. And, and like Elon said earlier, I, mean, I believe in, in legal immigration. I think uh, legal immigration is important. And what happens is when you grant people that have come over illegally these different opportunities, you completely undermine okay, the legal but, but system. I, I think, you know, like the stuff we were talking about in the car, the yeah. magnitude of the situation. The magnitude of it, yeah. So it's like, like um, the, the fact that we are seeing all-time highs in yes. illegal processes, it, 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 that, and, and that, that that ramp is increasing. Yes. So th th these are really important points because the public isn't it isn't. I think it's not, it's not necessarily clear to the public. Uh, is this is this normal, or, 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 or are we you know are we seeing an accelerating crisis? It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Last Friday was the was last Friday a week ago was a historic number, eleven thousand people that came over. Okay. Uh, and then on Monday that number increased. Today is Thursday, and that number increased. We're only going in the wrong direction. This is a week. What happens two weeks from now? Uh, it, it, it's the wrong way. Okay. So basically, we're seeing unprecedented, all-time highs, yes. um, and increasing, and spreading, 
Yeah. It's not in just one area. It's it's not just like it's just one city or one yeah. town, and not even one state anymore. You know, it's not, we're talking about New York today, but Chicago, you're hearing it there. L.A., Denver, there's all these other places where it's just spreading, just continues to get uh, okay. bubbling up. And, and just to quantify it, uh, I think you said two thousand a day or something. Just just in this location. Just here, yeah, just here. So that's like over seven hundred thousand a year. Just yeah. in this one location, yeah. Okay, uh, just uh, seven hundred thousand uh, sort of legal immigrants a year. Just in this one location. Just in this one location. Okay. Uh, El Paso, right now in El Paso. Just, then, yeah, that, like, that's that's higher than the population of Wyoming. Uh, FYI. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and that's just one location. What is the what is the total number from all locations roughly? In the millions. I mean, it's it's so literally millions, millions, millions. And those are just the folks that we know have engaged. What okay, about so all the others? That's, that's just who was actually processed. Yes, the gotaways are so, the ones so, that you know. Yeah, so meaning that like the the actual number is much higher. Much higher. Okay, that's very important for people people to know. Yeah. Uh, that the actual number is much higher. Is it is it is it, is, it, is official number something like two million or something? Or what, where, where is it? It varies, and it depends on who you ask. But okay. I've seen it as high as two point six million. Uh, and that number just every year for the past three years has almost doubled. You know, it was like 1.1. It's and doubling, then it's just year, after doubling year. year after year. It's compounding uh, year after year because because it's it's not just one part of the world either. It's all parts of the world that are coming in El Paso. Yeah, I, th I think that's actually an important point to make because, um, you know, sometimes people think, well, fuel is coming from Mexico, but this is not the no, case. No, not the um, case at all. The, 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 the reality is that um, it, this is an open border for all of Earth. All of Earth. Um, and just, you know, so there's roughly 350 million people in the u.s but there's eight billion people on earth yes this is an open border to eight billion people yes exactly. and, yeah. and and so in fact i i believe a, a it's a small minority or it's a minority it's, it's, it's a small percentage that are actually coming from mexico yeah that are, that are mexican that's true yes okay uh sheriff zertice how many how many i mean you this is a how, how close are you to the border 60 um, miles 68 miles from 68 the border. 68 miles from the border that's right what type of nationalities are coming through your county we're seeing anywhere from Honduras, El Salvador, uh, I believe um, Ecuador, stuff like that. Even uh, some Cubans. It's pretty much every country, well. right? Pretty much every country. Yeah. Um, it's very rare that we see anybody just from Mexico. Right. So, oh, it's actually rare to see anyone right. from Mexico. And then I'm 68 miles from the border. I'm 80 miles south of here from okay. Eagle Pass. How big is your workforce? How big is the sheriff's office? My patrol staff's only 16 strong. 16 total. Okay. So how many do you have on, on call at one time? Maybe two at the most. Two two law enforcement officers to tackle. I mean, some of these counties that, that I represent, they're size yeah. of states, and sure. they've got two or three people trying to tackle it all. This is where the local community just feel completely overwhelmed because oh, border patrol agents used to be the, the front line, and now they're here. They're under the bridge. They're processing folks, so they're completely out of the game. So these law enforcement, the local law enforcement officers, are carrying all the weight. My okay. county alone is fifteen hundred square miles. And, right, so it's not that's not possible, really. It's very um, difficult to handle. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and so uh, and, and just it's worth going over a bunch of things that you mentioned to me, which yes. is like um, the it, there's there's almost no repatriation. Right. This is another thing that was I found surprising. Um, so um, basically, once somebody gets in that they're they're they're, they're in yes there, there's essentially no re, it does in theory repatriation in theory flying back yes. um and i believe you talked to the the president of guatemala mm -hmm. and, and you know said and asked him if, 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 would, would, they, would, they, would they take people back and he said of course yes i said uh, i'll take every single one of them yeah no problem so, no problem all you got to do is ask oh yeah yeah ask is just call the white house just needs to call exactly okay and every white and <laughs> seems like that's like a, not a difficult thing elon but. every white house has done that <laughs> Okay. It, whether it was Trump, whether it was Obama, whether it was Clinton, whether it was Bush, every single White House has had a border issue, and every single one has hand, had to uh, handle it the same way okay. by essentially going, "We can't let everybody in because it's going to overwhelm us. We're going to, you're going to uh, abide by the laws, and if you don't qualify for asylum, we're going to send you back." And as soon as you start doing that, it alleviates the stress. This administration hasn't done that yet. Okay, so um, and just so of the. Sort of two, roughly two two and a half million um, processed illegals, and then there's it's maybe as much as twice double that or something. I don't know. So, oh, got away. Yeah. Call it like four four ish million, maybe five million total uh, processed and un, 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 unprocessed. 
how many of the four or five million uh, legal immigrants are sent back to their countries every year? I'll give you an example. Here in here in Del Rio, Del Rio sector is one of nine sectors. Okay, uh, we're getting over twenty about twenty five hundred people coming over illegally a day. And we are we are repatriating or sending zero back. Zero. Z zero. Zero. So not zero is a quite a small number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, let's just literally zero. So zero. basically there's no repatriation. What is happening is there, this is insane. What is happening is at, at best they will send people to other parts of the border. That's okay. not back to where they the, the country of origin. That's still Laredo or El Paso. Okay. In worst case scenario, and I want to bring in the mayor here, the worst case scenario is where they're at. You bubble to a point where there's nowhere else to send them. So what you end up doing is you release them into the street. Imagine what that does to your local community. Uh, yes, this sir. is the, the, the mayor Hi, of Eagle doing? Pass. Hi. Welcome Hi. to Eagle Pass. Orlando Salinas, mayor of the city of Eagle Pass. Hi. And it's been a rough... Oh, a nice uh, town. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Uh, just FYI, in case people are wondering whether Eagle Pass is like... like you know, like, like a, a, a rundown town. It's actually really clean and nice, just FYI. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, we're a, a city of 28,000 people, and we've had 19,000. Sorry, just the, the, yeah, totally, maybe totally the camera, I suppose. Eagle Pass <laughs> is a city of 28,000 people. We've had over 19,000 people in the last about 10 days come in, so we don't have the resources. It's like, wait, more people, more people are coming in by far, you know, than that's been, I mean, it's exceeding the population of the town on a regular basis. Absolutely. We don't have the resources to Mayor, control. Will you talk about the, the, the hospital? Absolutely. I think that's a piece Absolutely. that a lot of people are missing. Eagle Pass has one hospital. So, so you have thousands of people visiting this hospital. People are getting frustrated. They, the the safety is taking a toll. People can't get medical care, our local constituents, because they're treating people that are coming in from other countries. It's yeah, just, there's only so many doctors. There's there's only, only so many doctors, only so much we could do. The thing is, they're coming in without consequence, and the word gets out back to the countries, hey, come to the U.S., come to Eagle Pass, come one, come all kind of situation. And it's disappointing that, that we don't have a, a reform or we can solve this issue. The other thing about this too, Elon, is this isn't, it should not be a partisan issue. I get it, the politics in it yeah, are yeah, lucrative. Exactly. There's a certainly a temptation to make it a partisan 100%. issue. hundred yeah. percent. But you know, th this is across the board. I don't care if you're a D or an R, if you vote, don't vote, yeah. urban America, rural America, everybody's impacted the same way. When a, when the crisis hits your town, it's like a hurricane. When a hurricane hits you, everybody gets washed out. Sure. And it's no different. So this is, I think there's an opportunity here. If we can if we can message it in a manner, this is about solutions. Hey, I get the finger pointing. It's easy to say why we got here. It's like, how do we just get out of here? And I think there are some real tangible solutions we can uh, get. Okay, so I, I guess like the first part of this video, and I'll take a minute to upload it once this time, sure. is just, just to uh, frame the problem so yes. that the American people understand the, the, the magnitude of the problem, how quickly it is growing. Um, and that there is basically no solution currently being yeah. implemented. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. And and just to understand, like when you know you're telling me, like sometimes you know people coming through um, are you know they have gang tattoos and, oh, yeah. and they have the like the tear uh, you know uh, tattoo on the on the part. Like I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that everyone knows what that what it, what tattooing a tear on your on your head on, on your face means. I visited. I visited. <laughs> it's not good. It's, I visited. It's, it's not good. <laughs> I visited just okay. nonstop. I visited the facility here in Eagle Pass on Monday, and there was uh, there was a guy that had face and neck tattoos, hand tattoos, and he had teardrops. Uh, and a teardrop is is when you kill when somebody. you kill someone, and then you wear it as like a as a badge of, as but, a badge of pride. You're right. like actually happy that you've killed someone, right? And you want people to know it, right? And 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 when someone like that comes through and they say they're an asylum seeker, what what do we do? So, so I'm in there, and I, I asked, I asked the, the the border patrol chief. I mean, is, we're, we're talking about a serial, basically a serial murderer. Because yeah, he has multiple a serial, serial, serial murderer and proud of it. Yes. yes, yes. This is not somebody you want babysitting. No subtle. No, not at all. Okay. Uh, and so when I asked the, the border patrol chief, I go, "Hey, what's up with this guy?" Yeah. And he asked him in Spanish. He goes, "Hey, have you ever been arrested before?" He goes, "Oh, of course not." And he's like, "No, no, I've never been arrested." And so what the border patrol chief said, he goes, we do not have records from people from Venezuela. Sure. So we can't track, a, unless they were arrested in the United States, we really don't know who some of these actors are. Many people you'll but see are fleeing poverty. I get that. Sure, sure, sure. But there are others that are fleeing, you know, incarceration. Yes. <laughs> we, we are basically, it seems like a place where you can go to get away from the law. Yes. Um, and, uh, and, yeah. Uh, so... 
Okay, well, I think with with that, um, oh, and I, I see this this sort of a you know it's a, kind of a group over there that's 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 coming in. So um, it's you know. Um, So, you know, this sort of, uh, I don't know if you could really see it. I'll try to switch it around. Hmm. Well, I can't really switch around. So, anyway, that's like, I don't know if you can sort of see that group, but that's a group there. Um, 